Hey guys, and welcome to Well Read Wardrobe. I'm Kristen, and this is now my seven week countdown from moving from Seattle to Sydney. I think I'm hitting that freak out stage. Oh my God! <laughs> and I definitely want to vlog everything I'm doing to transition. How do I continue to run my business day to day so I'm bringing in money while also closing it and reducing my own personal belongings, seeing people that I love, making memories, and then get on a plane. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Do you think they're real? No. <laughs> they're so cute. I don't know. It might be. I'm gonna take them home and find out. Yeah, I would. I saw the heel and I was like, oh, that's funky. Let's just see what this is. Yeah, it might be. And there's be. both. Yeah. I mean, that's imprinted. I've never seen anything by this brand in real life, so. Yeah. Worth looking into. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Final decisions. Hangers. Don't pay for the water. Play-Doh's pile. Yes, that's a wedding dress in my car. And throw. And a bunch of stuff for Play-Doh's, a bunch of stuff for me, a glamour. Cars. I don't think these will be as, as expensive as it was last time. Last time I spent $200. Yeah, mine's going to be way less. Yes. Play those pile. <laughs> Let's go. This haul cost $34 even. And do you have an updated buy book or buy list? I don't think ours is updated right now. Okay. Like we have the one that we like. That you wrote sweatshirts on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's it's the same we have a picture. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Can you okay. see one of those though? Okay. Cool. Play-Doh's bought 19 pieces for $64.25. All right. Here in my relaxing area is also my book that is keeping my life together at the moment. It's calendar with all, all my stuff. Clearly not the correct page. Um, this is telling me how many weeks I have left, what I need to do, uh, what is important, and when. All right, here we are. It is August 1st. Oh, it's August. <laughs> it's August. Uh, I, I have my plane ticket and I'm leaving mid-September. I'm moving overseas in seven weeks. So excited! Okay, so I've called the phone company, I've canceled automatic subscriptions, and I've set up my first ever Posh Live sale. That's going to be tomorrow at 11. It's silent, so I think that'll be mm, a positive. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. And I will definitely try to film what I can uh, and share the results. I'm not expecting to make any sales. I think that would be a huge win if anyone showed up and it sold. But I do hope that it does something to the posh algorithm and I get more views in my actual closet after having a show. So fingers crossed. Okay, so what else do I have going on? Um, that pile of clothes that came home with me yesterday from the bins and I want to list. But first I kind of have to get through everything else. Uh, <laughs> I hate to actually turn around and show you, but let's do it. There it is. All of this is unlisted inventory. 
I counted over 70 items. So if I hustle, I can get that done and up in a week and I don't have that many weeks for it to sell. So I really do need to hurry and list at tempting prices. You can see it's mostly autumn and winter. We the free, I just got this at Plato's actually, because I think it's gonna be a good flip. Uh, we'll go through a few of these that just came home most recently. All the rest, this is kind of like death pile stuff that's been waiting. And over here, some more. This came home earlier this week. Well, this has been here for like months. And lots of pants there too. Also, <laughs> this came home yesterday. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm losing my mind a little bit. This is a Pendleton dog raincoat. I brought it home because it said Pendleton. It was at the bins and that's $1.99. Actually, my scale is right here. Let's see how much this cost. This little, I think it might be new without tags. I'll list it as in great condition used. Okay, so about four ounces, just under four ounces. $1.99 per pound plus 10 cents tax. This is 55 cents. And I didn't look it up until I got home because I initially thought, well, I'll just put it in my yard sale. Like, sure, why not be buying stuff for a yard sale? Mm-hmm. And actually they retail for $65 on William Sonoma. So actually I'll be listing it. I also had to buy a few things lately, a clothing shaver for about three years and it died two months before moving overseas. I decided it was worth the $8.99 to buy a new one. It does have a USB charger so I could bring it with me if I wanted to. And I have a ton of clothes. Some of these staring back at me that have been waiting to get cleaned up before listing. I also used my Prime membership to order these goodies. This is a pack of adapters. So when I move, I can plug this into the outlet. That is what the outlets look like in Australia. And then I can use either the two or the three sided to plug in. Only certain items will work with the electricity over there without needing a converter as well. I can plug in my cell phone and laptop as examples. And then for the actual move itself, I'm hoping these will come in handy. Vacuum storage bags. I've also been joining in on YouTube listing challenges put on by Veronica Mitkay and her friends uh, all this week. So by the time I put this up, sorry, they'll be over. Maybe they'll host another one, but I'm finding them to be entertaining and keeping me at my desk longer. I've also picked up a part-time job that I will be taking overseas with me, and that is working as a virtual assistant for Melissa. I'm getting her items drafted and ready to go at nights as well, and that is a huge help, huge help. Um, she prepaid me. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've got a lot going on, and I feel pretty good, but also maybe at the edge of freaking out so I'll just keep checking back in and seeing how things change and progress if you have any tips or advice at any point during this process please drop a comment below it would mean the world to me to hear back from you guys thank you here's my setup progress that rack is a little less photo there measure there way there toss into the bin this many <laughs> has been done I'm going to do one more Everlane sweater after this gray one I am working by uh, brand batching so that when I look up style information I can just go to one site and hopefully find everything I need before moving on and welcome to Wednesday. Here's a peek at my first ever Posh Live sale. It was a silent sale and super easy to get going. I did use Canva to make the marketing ad that you saw there a second ago. And here's me just adding things to the show. This is the phone view. Once the show started, I had to choose if I wanted to use my phone or desktop. You could only run it through one at a time. 
and here's that desktop view. I will say it was super easy to add items from my closet that were already listed to change the pricing and to just run the show. Poshmark also did a good job of marketing and there were people in the room watching the show as soon as it started. However, I did not make any money from the time spent here, as you're about to see. This was basically a big experiment for me. I wanted to play with this feature before I move because I don't think it's offered in Australia just yet. Oh look, a sale! Yeah, that's gonna cancel. I had been prepared that people will buy and then cancel. It took an hour and 20 minutes to run the show. I sold one item for $10, so I get seven, and the other item that sold was canceled. I have a migraine. I want to take a nap. There's a literal jackhammer outside now. <laughs> Today's an interesting day. Hmm, I wonder where ink could be. <gasps> what are you doing in there? And while my roommate's cat was trying to be a stowaway in the thread up box I was about to send out, I was getting ready the rest of my shipping. This includes giving my little brother our childhood Nintendo since I can't bring it with me. And he's already playing it. Back to business, I have concerns over this Mercari bundle. Have you used their new feature yet? The label says one pound, but I'm fairly certain this comes in at more than one pound. Why didn't they combine the weights? Vendu is showing that I put in one pound for the first top and... Oh man, okay, seven ounces for the second. I hope I gave myself some wiggle room. So let's see the combined weight on these. Yeah, it's definitely over a pound. Instead of canceling the sale, I did go ahead and mail it with that one pound label. And I'll let you know what the difference is that I'm sure they're gonna charge to my account. And Thursday looks like this. Still so many things waiting for my attention. But this came in the mail. Let's see what it is. This is motivation. Ta-da! My very own box of padded flat right envelopes. 100 of them. I have every intention of selling out, but in a very positive way. <laughs> Let's go. The one thing we haven't done together this week is shipping. So let's try something that might be new to you. Have you heard of the platform Kitizen? It is a platform for children's clothing, but you can also sell women's. Unfortunately, not men's. I sold this cute little sweatshirt. I do love Harry Potter and it sold for $20, which includes shipping. All of your prices on Kitizen will include shipping if you're using Vendu. If you just list on Kitizen, you can opt to put in a shipping fee. But let's go through this together. And if you decide to join, I'll give you my referral code and we'll both win. Here we go. I'm going to click on orders to get the address that I need to ship this item. You can choose to ship through Kitizen or you can provide a label yourself, just enter the tracking. So I'll use Pirate Ship to save money if possible. Click on sales and there it is. Mini Bowden Harry Potter sweater. I'm sorry, it sold for 25, including shipping, which is way better. And their fee was $3.50. So gonna edit out their information there. Here we can choose to purchase a label I'm gonna select it and see how much it costs to go through them. All right, we're in at, we're gonna call it eight ounces. And yes, I'm using the eBay bags because that is what I have on hand. Tucking in a thank you card and let's get, let's get shipping. Here are the options from Kitizen. Micro is the smallest, under four ounces is $4.45. Eight and under is $4.85, which is what I would be using. Medium, under 12 ounces, is 585 and so forth. It goes all the way up to extra, extra large, sorry, jumbo, under 20 pounds. So my cost here is 485. I'm not sure that Pirate Ship can beat that. Let's find out. I'm gonna copy the address and head on over to their site. And I don't wanna forget this. They also have a flat rate envelope, which is the padded 12 by nine envelope. 
I have my handy dandy box of 100 right here. This one kit is in the cost to use that is $9.50. I won't be using that for this purchase, but it is an option. This is a site where you can print your own shipping labels. It's ship.pirateship.com. Let's compare prices. I've entered in the addresses and scrolled down, so that's all hidden. Now we're going to choose what type of packaging and add in the weight. So we're saying eight ounces. We don't need any of this. Let's see how much it is. <laughs> 444, pirate ship wins. Uh, I suppose I'll do that. So I've got this link to my PayPal. Just go ahead and buy the label and I'll show you through the rest of the steps because we're not going to forget to copy and paste the tracking. Kittison needs the tracking to know that we have indeed sent the item. And the cool thing about selling on Kittizen is that as soon as that label is scanned in by the post office, you get paid. No waiting until the buyer gets it and there are no returns. I, I do think there are actually some special circumstances where the buyer could argue that, you know, the incorrect item was sent, but for the most part, no returns. how many and hanging out listing challenge time and just like that it's Friday I haven't shown you what I picked up this week to resell and I only have six and a half weeks left in the States okay so what did I pick up I went to the bins on Monday followed by Play-Dohs to sell I did bring one thing home with me and I also went to Value Village on sometime in the weekend with my daughter just real quick and brought home some things from them as well so let's do a haul to finish out the week okay this rolling rack here has 18 items and they were all purchased knowing that I need to list and sell as fast as possible you can decide whether you would have made the same choices as me or not so starting with Play-Dohs, I found this We The Free size medium blush pink corduroy jacket. I did run comps before I picked it up and the price was $20. Play-Dohs gives cash when you sell. They don't offer trades for a higher value. So I did pay $20 for this jacket. I left myself some notes. So this haul from Value Village comes out to $8.71 each, if I'm averaging. That was six items for a total of $52.24. Now the tags are still on, so we can see what Value Village was asking for these items. And honestly, I do think that their prices have started to come down to a more reasonable price. And the first item is a pair of Madewell jeans. Madewell does have the date tag inside, so I know that these were from the autumn of 2019. They have the original belt and a paper bag waist. Great back to school item. And Value Village priced these at $7.29. Next up is my favorite find of that haul. Ula Johnson at only $5.29 beautiful gauzy lace shirt and that is a bolo brand i have sold a pair of sandals by her before for nearly 100 dollars. this next dress is a bit of a mystery to me i do need some research maybe editing kristen will have something to say but in the shop here's what i saw it's beautifully made. It feels like quality. On the back, we have Liquido Quality. Well, it says quality. <laughs> so it's 100% cotton made in Spain. And it was priced at $11.99. $11.99 is a bit high when I don't even know the brand. 
but I do really feel like this is a quality piece, possibly donated by the same person that donated the Ula Johnson and other things that you'll see. So I was willing to pick it up and give it a go. I'm not sure if it was a good idea. Would you guys have done the same or left it there? Next we have for $8.99, Free People. And this is what makes me think that the prices are going to continue to go down instead of up here at Value Village because they had been marking Free People at $17.99 and above. So this is a really cute top with bell sleeves. I thought it was a romper at first, but it is just a top. Gorgeous coloring and a size large. Next, we have a piece of maternity wear by Bolo Brand, the brand Hatch. This does have some spots on it that I intend to treat before listing, which maybe is a little bit crazy because I don't have that much time, but I feel like it's worth it in this case. If the spots don't come out, I'll still sell it. And Value Village had this for $11.49. And this is the last piece from the Value Village haul. How gorgeous is this dress? It's a brand that I have never heard of, and I don't know why it has this purple tag, but for $13.99, I'm going to pronounce it Hamat and Nandida. It's very stunning. Here are some comps. What I found while I was looking in the store and decided, yes, absolutely coming home. I think this could be a quick flip. And that leaves us with all the bins items. The Goodwill outlet in my area is priced at $1.99 per pound, just for reference. The first item is by Prairie Underground, a brand I rarely find, but when I do, I get quite excited because it sells for good money. This is a tie front cotton hoodie. Not sure what I can expect to get from this, but I'm definitely making a profit when I pick it up at the Goodwill outlet. Summer is coming to a close, but these shorts can definitely be worn through the autumn. I love the paper bag waist and these little buttons. This is by Banana Public. And if we zoom in, you can see the little dots beneath. That means this came from the Banana Republic outlet center or factory center. Just good to know. So you can mark your items correctly when relisting. The pleated front is so cute. Our next find is this cream belted jumpsuit by American Eagle. I love that it has the belt tie. And again, I think that'll carry straight on through to the autumn months. Back to school is definitely what I saw when these popped into view. The brand is called Empire and it just seems like a Y2K or 90s thing to me. Love them. I also saw a matching pair of pants, but they were stained in ink and I do not know how to get ink out, so no thanks. If you've watched any of my previous hauls, you know that I love Target. I can't seem to stay away. This is new with tags, who, what, where, and it is a balloon sleeved faux leather button back shirt. Let's take a look at those details. I love it. And I do find that the faux leather from Target sells for me. Next up is an Eileen Fisher knit cardigan. I don't think I will ever say no to Eileen Fisher. Now, if this doesn't sell for me in the next several weeks, I think it will do well on thread up. So you might see it there. More free people. It's a good thing that I decided to go ahead and buy another sweater shaver because this one really needs it. But it's so soft, size medium, cropped with a, I don't know if I would say a dolman sleeve or balloon sleeve. I might just use both keywords. What do you think that would be called? It's also kind of a drop sleeve. In any case, super academia, back to school worthy. So another project for the time I <laughs> don't have. 
This twist front shirt is by the brand Babaton, which is sold at Aritzia. And this is 100% silk. Super lightweight, beautiful, and will give me some money to take with me to Australia. The last three things I said yes to at the bins are all jackets. I find that they make the most money for me selling online and it's an appropriate time. So I think if I can sell these for a little less than I would have last year, they should go pretty quick. This is by J. Crew. The style name is Campbell and it is a rich brown like mahogany corduroy blazer with golden details. I absolutely love this jacket and it has shoulder pads. This next piece is also J. Crew. We have the two little dots underneath, also symbolizing factory or outlet. This is a long puffer coat. Perfect for back to school winter season coming up, has the hood. I don't think I'll have a problem flipping that within six weeks at all. And that means this is the very last piece I picked up and what are you thinking right now? Would you have even picked this up to take a look at it? It is real fur. I think it has some staining. This tag says made in Hong Kong, RMCC, size medium. Let's unzip it. The interior is lined in pink, definitely stained with age. The next tag says Fur Origin, France. And this tiny tag, kind of sewn into the side, is hard to read. A real Coney fur jacket. There will be some shedding. Yeah, a lot of staining. It was the Made in France that got me. So if I have any research to add, we're gonna put it right here. I don't know if this was a good buy. This might be one of those, I'm moving and freaking out a little bit, buys. Oh, but wait, we cannot forget the Hermes. You don't pronounce, you don't pronounce. You don't pronounce it. Oh, thank you. Hello. You guys, I think they're real. I've done a little bit of research online and they have all the telltale signs. Let's take a closer look. That stitching is really nice quality, even. We've got the embossed logo on the inside, plus these are really padded, like they're gonna feel nice. Now the soles, paint has rubbed off. There's a lot of wear to the toe, but this is very soft and supple leather. And then we've got Hermes, size 37, made in Italy. So I think they're in rough shape, but authentic. Everything I've seen online using sites like The Real Real to look on the interior tags and outer soles especially have matched. And that's this week's haul. I'm hesitant to say it's my last haul in America, but I can't imagine I'll be buying too much more that I'll be listing myself. I say all that knowing perfectly well that I'm going to the bins tomorrow to shop with my daughter. And on Monday, I have another trip scheduled with Melissa at the Thrifty Broad. But I don't know how much I'll be bringing home. Maybe all of it will be intended for Play-Dohs, Crossroads, or thread up. If you're curious about consigning on thread up, then join me in my next video where I'll explain to you how I'm doing it in 2023. I've had several boxes go live and have already made sales, so I'll be showing all the data. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when that video goes live. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you then.
if you were moving overseas in just under seven weeks, would you have picked up the same stuff that I just did? Super curious to know. Not sure if I am being business savvy or is this like emotional shopping? Gonna have to keep myself in check here.